another thing that's very interesting going on next weekend. Utah's last monastery is here in the Salt Lake Valley, and the nuns that live there uh, live a quiet life of prayer. But next weekend, the community comes together to support them, and they're doing a Carmelite fair. New specialist Gorna Mejia has an inside look. Nestled in the heart of the Salt Lake Valley live 12 Carmelite nuns. Their lives are devoted to worshiping God and praying for peace in the world, but especially the people of Utah. The nuns felt drawn here. Um, I felt home here. Called by God to leave behind secular pursuits in exchange for a life of quiet devotion. I realized that the Lord has blessed me with a lot of good things, but I didn't know how to repay him. Their main contact with the outside world is in this room, not because they want to keep others out, but to focus on the divine, as 38-year-old Sister Peter Marie explains. We live in the world, but at the same time, we're not of the world. At the Carmelite Monastery, the nuns lead simple lives. The sisters make their own sacrament wafers, which will later be consecrated in church to become the Eucharistic host. They share it with several Catholic, Episcopalian, and Lutheran congregations. And so this is our rhubarb garden. This time of year, they're also busy in the garden. We just grow them, so, but we don't keep cow. They'll use the fruits to make their special jam for next weekend when they expect hundreds of visitors at the annual Carmelite Fair. The proceeds go to supporting the nuns in their mission to pray for us. You know, the God is here. He is always there for you. And the Carmelite Fair will be held next Sunday, September 15th. I'll share the details on our website. In Holiday, I'm Garna Mejia, KSL 5 News.